Evan serves as our, our uh, youth ministry intern, and he wants to tell you a little bit about what's happening in the youth group. So we welcome you. Hello, everyone. Hi. I'm back. I know a lot of you wanted to get rid of me, but I'm not going away that easily. Um, so I asked Pastor Lane if I could do the ministry moment this Sunday because I realized that I never got to wrap up our summer together um, with the youth and with everyone. And so the first thing I did with the youth group was Sunday school. And at that Sunday school, Paul drew a little picture of me that had a little cowboy hat and a very exaggerated mustache. It said, yee-haw. And I was like, why do I have a cowboy hat on? I'm not wearing a cowboy hat. And he said, well, you look like you should have one. <laughs> And while I am not a cowboy hat person, I went and stole one of my roommates and wore it to uh, youth that Sunday night. And he was like, oh, maybe not. <laughs> um, but after that, I just dove head, head first into creating relationships with our youth, um, with the students here, and wanting to just spend as much time with I could, as I could with them on those Sundays and Wednesdays just forming relationships and making sure that I was sharing the love of Christ with them as they shared the love of Christ with me. Um, before I left home to come back to Baton Rouge to start this uh, internship, I met with my youth pastor, and he's, he told me that the most important part of youth ministry is the relationships that you create with them. And that's why I did that. I wanted to be sure that I was creating these relationships with these students. And so after two weeks of forming relationships and just meeting Sundays and Wednesdays. Um, I got the opportunity to take our youth to Big Stuff camps with the St. Charles United Methodist Church in Destrehan um, to Destin for Big Stuff. And it was an amazing week of just devotional um, prayer, spending time together, making new friends, and just worshiping the Lord. In that week, we got to witness 13 students from St. Charles UMC get baptized in the Gulf of Mexico, which was an amazing experience. And I just hope more people can experience that because that was amazing. And so after coming back from Big Stuff, we, we continued to spend time together, whether it was eating ice cream or playing tennis with weird little things that we made, um, or just spending time in the Word. And at the end of July, which was after, or nearing the end of, the, of my internship, um, we went to the Weekend of the Cross North Shore, which was held in Black, at Blackwater UMC in central Louisiana. Um, there, we made some new friends as well, um, as well as building three wheelchair ramps and across four other sites, just making um, just painting and doing other like cleanup things um, right here in our community in Baton Rouge. And so after all of this, it, it came time for me to wrap up my summer, wrap up my, my internship and go back to school and do whatever else I would do, whatever it would be. Um, and I asked Lane, I said, I think that I would like to step on if y'all would have me so that I can continue to grow these relationships and grow these um, this, this thing that I've began to build with the youth. And so this fall, I've come back to, to do, that, do just that, form these relationships, continue to grow these relationships that I've made with these students. And if I'm going to continue to create these relationships, I'm gonna need volunteers. And so, <laughs> I know y'all, it wasn't just wrapping up the summer, I need to ask y'all something. <laughs> um, so throughout this fall, I. I'm gonna need some volunteers to help me with youth on Sundays. Um, I already have one for this Sunday. Thank you, Miss Maureen. Um, but in the future, we'll need some help. And so if you would like to come help and you're Safe Sanctuary trained or would like to be Safe Sanctuary trained, um, you could text me at my number on the back of your bulletin or you can find me on Sundays or whenever, you, whenever else you see me. So that's it, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Evan. It's a, such a joy to serve with you and to get to see how God's using you in your life and ministry as well. 